Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to more Civ 5 as Poland. We last left off. I'm being greedy and going for wonders, and that cannot end well. I'm also at war with Denmark, because I wanted to make sure he didn't settle a city down here. So, I've gone into defense mode. Thankfully, I did already have units down here, and I've got some... I've got some, uh... Slave-powered boats on the way. And we're working towards the naval techs, so... Ugh, this enemy! Ugh! Man, oh man. Do I get XP from this? Oh no, it's just a capture. Stop doing that, darn it! Well, it's wasting his faith, which is something. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Jerk. Well, I, I say we can more or less send these troops back. Or harass Harold down here. Not like they'll be able to do much, but we can harass them. Or actually, I could cross over here and go grab these ruins. Let's do that. That sounds like a better idea. Aw, well, that wasn't going to get it regardless, then. Which is a bummer, because that's a real good one. Oh, really? You want to play like that? Or, actually, he might have been there, I just didn't notice. Well, it's, it's XP! So it's something. Uh, let's build a barracks. Oh, really? Heck no! <laughs> Yeah, you and your prophet are so deadly. Okay, so there is a Denmarkian unit, and he will slaughter me. So, this foe is beyond any of us. Okay, it's Mongolian. Hey, you know what? We're actually kind of close, and we are friends. Uh, rest of my horses? How about some iron? Ah. Apparently, Harold Bluetooth is actually kind of dangerous. Which, you know, makes sense. works. That works, though. Aww. 
There goes one of my backups. Fine, I'm not even gonna bother with these guys. I don't get any money for either capture or nor XP. Get you one back, I guess. So we'll get this built, get a couple bar like get a barracks going, and then start probably pumping out a couple privateers because privateers are really good when it comes to city taking. So we meet everybody because of that. Awesome. By awesome, I mean not really, but whatever. Um, I'll we'll just do that. Why not? Observatory? And we'll probably start building some military units. Because if I can get a decently sized navy, then this will actually be far easier because they'll just have so many more targets to hit. Yeah, sure. They already know where I am, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they changed that. Nicely done. finish the amphitheater. You'd also be making military troops because I can't actually use you anywhere else. Although happiness is going to be a problem. So let's get the happiness building going. And you get some gold, so a market as well. And probably start pumping out some knights. I think they upgrade... No, they don't. That's right. It's the pikemen. They upgrade to the lancer? Trying to remember. Upgrade to the Lancer, but the unique unit is actually. Queen Tassar. Which replaces you. Super weird. But they're not considered to be cavalry units. That 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 upgrade path has always bugged me. Like, maybe you should get, like, horsemen, cavalry, and then have the choice between going down that path. Then no. <laughs> if you're not willing to go for a flat deal, then no. It's that simple. I'm sure we'll be friendly. Florence. I 
Well, hopefully Harold and Japan keep going at it for a long time to come. Heal up. Excellent. We can start upgrading and actually have a naval unit that's actually good down there. So I don't see any reason why those wouldn't be there, but just in case. Carry beat your stuff. Tom opened his up. Uh, send you down here. Hopefully there's nothing to stop me. It's actually not a bad area. Nor is over here. We got marble. River. But happiness is the big thing right now. And I think I've got enough cities to where I'm, I, I'm okay in terms of production and having a good foundation. And once I start taking over a bunch more cities, it'll just get better. Hi. Let's just see where they go. Because if they land, I can attack them and probably finish them off relatively quickly. All oh, right, they can actually get out and attack super easily. That's right. <gasps> the French are trading with me. That's good. That's another good reason why you should have a city out here. It's expansive, but I need a good ship out here. Really? No, dumb dumb. Hopefully they'll attack me one more time. Have a small bonus. I see just flat jungle tiles, just build trade posts on them. Oh no! Ah. I was worried about that, but I think a move would have killed me either way, so at least we finished these guys off. Or not! Now, if I die because you didn't kill him. <sighs> So let me see. I'm going to want a harbor here, at the very least. We get the sea trade route, then a barracks. In fact, what we'll do is we'll have you build a harbor next, greenery, library, etc., etc. This is kind of expensive. But that'll give a nice boost to the city. How many people do you have for? You're going to grow next turn. Yeah, of course, I forget. That should be the next tile you work. Just exchange for peace, you'll accept with nothing but peace? I don't know about that.
Do I kamikaze and hope he just forgets about me? You know what? Sure, let's kamikaze. <laughs> over there and hide. Actually, no. The best place would be here, because then he can't see you at all. S would he take flat he piece? Died. Oh, he took flat piece. You're right! I, I'm really surprised. Perhaps it's because he's with the war Japan? I don't know. But anyway, that helps me out quite a bit. I'm glad. Thank you, thank you for putting that in the comment. How did you know he would take nothing but flat piece? Or he would take nothing with it? The winds and the wave. Because, I, I mean, is there is there something that... Some kind of... Oh, they're both gone. There's some kind of, like, uh, tick or something that the AI does that I just didn't notice. Drop another policy. Free thought. Boom! More science. And then I think we'll probably save the rest for policies. At least I'm not in last place. <laughs> uh, yeah. Trackless from Napoleon is ended. That's actually fine. But if I've got nothing else to trade for it. You got nothing else to trade for it. <sighs> and it will be it'll probably be a while till my borders grow. Even though I bought a ton of them. That'll probably be around the right amount of time. So I'll train naval units, cavalry units, and land units. That's actually really nice how that turned out. So, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. No, I'll take straight up open borders. Yeah, I'm paying attention to the chat. It's just really hard when you filtering through it while playing. Plus it jumps. So that's annoying. Um, you're making a lot of great people and I wanna wait until we can get an armory anyway. So let's go ahead and build the garden. And you're good. When they offer peace, that's when you can usually do that trick. Okay, so just when they offer peace straight up. That ha that's not always the case, but I, I can see that. It's believable. Everyone wants nutmeg. I'll get it, I'll get it. Jeez. Oh, Hold your horses. Speaking of horses. I have some more horses up there. And I think I have six iron. That'll be more than enough. Eventually we'll get six more. Yeah, I got more than enough iron. Actually, if I'm going to build frigates, I should probably make sure I have enough. You're done with that? Let's go over. Let's get over here. Ten turns for an armory. Yeesh. Let's 
quite a bit, but getting two extra promo or getting the promotion off the bat does help. It's just the one, unfortunately. I steal in six. Actually, that could be really beneficial if I finish up gunpowder first. Let's finish. Let's go for gunpowder and then probably for banking. I imagine he has either one of these. Do I have two? No, I think a deal just ended. Yeah, fine. I trust you a little more. Okay, so what does a seaport also increase production? Yeah, it does. But I don't think a seaport's necessarily worth it. So we'll get the armory going, and then we're going to go for three privateers, two frigates. Minimum. Now that's just, I may end up changing the build layout a little bit, but we'll see. Why don't I use Twitch? Because the, re the reason why I don't use Twitch is because A, I have no following on Twitch. Um, the music doesn't matter, actually, I'll get to that. But uh, I, I have no following on Twitch. I also don't have the support and streaming capabilities that I have with YouTube, believe it or not. YouTube is actually, I have more features with YouTube than I have with uh, Twitch. So that's the reason why I'm still here. And until until I get like well known and I'd love to go to Twitch for, for live streams and I'd probably use Twitch exclusively assuming that I could get basically uh, like a partner to count with them but unfortunately I do not have that ability so that is why I'm not using it a in terms of the copyright issues with the music the way that that's gonna work is that they're not actually gonna be doing it during the live stream they're only gonna be doing it for saved videos so if you don't keep the, the videos on Twitch, then you're fine. You can play music while you live stream, but the thing is, is that like, it won't be saved. So it's, it's just not my style, not how I, how I record and such. So, wow, time flies. Yeah, I heard they are working on banning it, music from live streams as well. Uh, that, that's going to be really... Li the problem is that it's live, and they'd have to process it, and there's just so much processing that's involved with that. And it's definitely doable. And probably by the time... Tw Twitch definitely will have enough you know, resources, I'd say, to do it. The question is kind of if they will. And at the, this point in time, it's fine. But, you know, it, it's just one of those things. And we're gonna go one more turn. Send you down here. Heck, there's a possible sea location over here. Let's explore this area. And we're not at war anymore. And I can just straight up travel over here. So, let's send out, you just kind of scout. Oh, Indonesia. Gosh darn it, Indonesia. They're going to beat me to it. Not necessarily this, but to a city over here. I, it's so funny, though, because I, I, so many times I have been, like, just, like, two turns shy. Like, two to three turns shy of the AI. Like, constantly. Yeah, I'm not saying that... I, sir, Sacred, I got, I'm, I'm not saying that I can't use Twitch to livestream. I can use Twitch to livestream. 
the issue is that I don't get, let's say, specific bonuses. I don't know if I get HD, for example. I, I, pro I might. I don't know for certain. But I don't have like a partnered Twitch channel, so I don't get I don't get basically like promoted as well as I would via YouTube. I don't get like let's say monetization like I would in YouTube. And either way, it doesn't really matter when it comes to music and stuff and live streaming because I would end up recording it regardless and throwing it up. Although I guess the way I do stream now, I could play music on my other computer, and then when I record it, it wouldn't show up on the actual recording. That's a possibility. But no, unfortunately, I would need a far larger following uh, on YouTube, like maybe, say, f twice as many subs as I have now, and pff, actually more than that, five times as many subs as I have now with about 1,000 views per video, minimum. So, yeah. Anyway, it's time for me to cut this video off. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.